Hey everybody, it's me, Angel Benton, and it's time for another Sudsy Recap. Uh, first of all, I forgot yesterday that yesterday was my 100th episode. Can you believe that? A hundred episodes. Soon it'll be a thousand, ten thousand, twenty thousand. No, I don't know. We'll see. But, you know, seven days a week, it's, it's a little much, but it's fine. It's good. It's good. So I want to thank all of you that have subscribed to the channel and are telling your friends. I do appreciate that. Um, and not just that, but I have to say, I want to say thank you for keeping daytime television alive. Uh, big news this past week on Soap Opera Digest. Um, they might be bringing back all my children in one life to live. I hope they do. That would be crazy. Um, that, although I will say, if they do that, let's say they bring back all my children and one life to live, well then that would only leave one day for me to do a different show. Most likely it would still be Vanderpump Rules. That would probably be the one that I keep, but you know, the Housewives and the Ladies of London, well, gotta go, but again, it's, that's a long ways away, and, and, and it might not happen, but one can only hope, right? Anyways, uh, I also want to clear up you know, a lot of people have m mentioned when I am like, oh my God, my ingrown hairs, or this is for my glasses, or you know, something like that. Here's, this is why. Okay, so as you can see, this isn't like this big grandiose production where I'm like wearing makeup and it's, you know, it's, it's no big deal. No, this is me warts and all, right? And I do mean warts and all. I mean, I don't have any warts, but zits and all for sure, right? And for some reason, the camera is a better judge of your flaws than the mirrors are. I don't know why. I don't know why that is. But even if you watch the movie Clueless, so this was, you know, 21 years ago in 1995, when Elisa Silverstone was like, I use Polaroids, I don't use mirrors. And in a way, though, she's right. It does kind of make sense. So... I just want to say that I'm not normally that self-obsessed or, or that vain. Uh, it's just that I'm staring at myself on camera while I'm doing this. Uh, and it's, you know, it's obvious when I have flaws. I, here's another thing, too. I feel like if I don't address it right away, that people are going to be like, oh, my God, he's totally got those pimples and he doesn't even know it. Like, I I want to be the first one to say, yes, I see the pimples on my face. I, or they're ingrown hairs. Or this is this uh, is from my glasses, you know. So those are the, that's the type of things that I like to mention because I do get it. I do see it, you know. that That's me. Moving on. Okay, so Ladies of London. So today's Sudsy Recap is all about Ladies of London. So here's the thing with Ladies of London. The more this show goes on this season, the more I am falling in love with Caroline Fleming. I love her. I think she is the absolute best. The best part, the best part, and this is, again, this is one of those moments where you you might not catch it, but it was the best. It was very... It, Actually, it was something more along the lines of something you would see on Real Housewives of Atlanta. But when there's having the big dinner at Mapperton, and Julie and uh, Caroline and Sophie and Adela and Juliet, and they're all going at it, Caroline Fleming's like, I don't even know what they're talking about. I don't care because this food is good. <laughs> <laughs> she got lots of snaps for that. I love it. Yes, girl. You eat that food. You Yes, if it's good, you enjoy it. That is the best. That is awesome. Um, although, I will say, so, you know, Marissa didn't come. She, she went to the Hamptons to go be with her um, her her husband's parents it was their big anniversary in the hamptons because the hamptons is special because that's where they got married and that's where blah 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 all this stuff happened right uh so but they didn't bring their baby because you know i i totally see it from marissa's standpoint that she needs to do things with her children separately as well as together 
Now, the timing of it is a little bit off because she did just get home from the hospital, like, I don't know, like eight days before she left. But, obviously, the baby is getting very stronger. And, you know, that just might be, I'm, I'm, because the way that Caroline Fleming's, and I love Caroline Fleming, you know I love her a lot. But the comments that she made, she was like, I, although she, she, she said, I'm not judging anybody's parenting style, but I would never do that with my children. And I totally don't see her as a mommy shamer. First of all, I hate that phrase shaming like oh you're mommy shaming me you're drought shaming me you're you know rich shaming me i mean it's just so stupid just say you're being an asshole like really because you know it was a kind of an asshole comment but i mean a she didn't really see from marissa's point of view and b I don't think she meant it to come off that way because she was like, I, like I said, I'm not judging anyone's parenting style. So anyways, but regardless, I still love Caroline Fleming to death. I think she's the best. Okay, so Caroline Stan, my other favorite Caroline, Caroline Stanbury. So this week she was in a rare form. So she went off at the dinner table. Basically, she went off on her friend Adela and Sophie. And here's the thing, you know, Sophie's, Sophie is a little bit blindsided by the whole thing because she's like, well, I thought we were family. You told me you would always be my family. You took my side in the divorce. All this stuff, right? But, um, you know, and Adela is like, you're being very spoiled, Caroline, you know. But they are very close. You know what I'm saying? I was talking with my mom about this earlier today, and I was talking about how when you have a, a, a nuclear family, and, and and family is what you make of it, right? Family could be my sister. It could be my roommate. You know, basically, when you've got a tight bond with someone, right? You can talk shit about that person and to that person. And that's fine. But the minute someone else, someone else talks shit about them, you're you've got their back. You're like, excuse me, fuck you. Right? So I feel like that's kind of that familiarity where you can talk shit to each other is kind of where Sophie and Adela and Caroline are. But Caroline was not having it. She does not, she was not having it. She's like, I don't care that you know you were my sister in law. I don't give a shit. You should have my back, you know. So, in a way, I feel like their actions were more hurtful to her just because of their close bond, you know? Whereas, like, if Juliet had said that, I'm sure Juliet has probably said worse than that on season one. Let's not forget, I don't recall Caroline being best friends with Juliet on season one. Now, season two, definitely, for sure. But I don't remember them being that close in season one. I could be wrong, though. It's been a while since I've seen season one. I need to catch up on demand. Anyways, um, so, you know, and as far as, like, you know, the rules, listen, if there wasn't that shit show of a dinner that first season, right, I don't think she would have said the rules. I really don't. But I felt like she needed to. And honestly, just like Caroline Fleming said, God. I just love her. She was like, you know, I've always had respect for rules. And, you know, when you go to Caroline Stanbury's house, she makes you take your shoes off. She's got rules, too. So, you know, I don't know why she's so anti-rules, you know. And she's like, you know, this takes me back to my childhood when I was at boarding school and I swore I would never follow anyone else's rules. But, I don't know. It just seems... It just seems kind of strange coming after two years after that season one dinner where she didn't have a problem with the rules, you know. Although she was the one taking the long smoke breaks outside, but I don't think that was as big of a deal as the passing the plate of the plates and the not eating the venison and all that bullshit. Um, but, you know, I'm I'm sure we'll probably see as the season goes on more of Caroline Fleming, uh, not Caroline Fleming, Caroline Stanbury, uh, and I hope Caroline Fleming too. I like her as well. But let let's before I go real quick, I gotta talk about Luke, her Caroline Stanbury's makeup artist. I okay, Twitter, okay, T 
y'all are crazy, right? On Twitter, people are going crazy for Luke. Luke, what does it, I need to know what it feels like to have all these thirsty gays after you on Twitter. Because you know they are. And not just on Twitter, but on Facebook, too. I mean, it is crazy. It is, like, the, some of the things that they say make me blush. And I worked in porn last, the last job that I had, but that was, like, I don't know, eight years ago. But still, like, that makes me blush. I was like, ooh, brazen. But anyways, so that's Ladies of London this week. So please, thank you so much for watching 101 episodes. Uh, I do appreciate it. You can follow me on Twitter at Angel Benton, hashtag uh, Ladies of London to talk about Ladies of London, and hashtag RHOBH to talk Real Housewives of Beverly Hills. Actually, re hashtag Real Housewife shit, because I've got a lot to talk about with them, too. So thank you so much. Peace out. Have a wonderful night. Wubba, wubba, wubba.